Welcome to Short Shot Archery, and today I'm going to be going over what bow case you should buy because there honestly is a bow case for every level of archery from that beginner, somebody just starting out, to somebody who's been doing it a little while, and to that person that wants to go to that next level, that, that expert level, where they're you know representing their country or looking to represent their country, they're traveling, they want to go to the Olympics, they want to go to world events. So, uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you kind of like the three levels and just things to keep in mind when you're you know, spending money on buying a case to protect your equipment. So my first case I have here is actually my first bow case ever. Um, it's a cartel. Um, I, I would say it was a really good price. I don't know exactly the price. I was 13 or so back then, so we're going on over 10 years. But it did its job, and uh, as you can see, it's, it's still in it's still in good shape. Um, this is your great, you know, travel to your local tournament bow case. Um, you know, I have I have arrows in here. I have a stabilizer. What else do I have? Is there anything else in here? No. Nope. You can technically fit a little quiver in here too. Um, I'll open up the front for you guys. Turn it around. Boop. It holds, you know, one bow, your dozen arrows. Here's the limbs. I got some wax. The strings in here. The plunger. It's got pockets up top. Now, of course, they probably don't make this model anymore. It's, you know, over 10 years old. But if they do, that'd be kind of cool. Um, but you want something along these lines if you're new to shooting because you want to protect what you just bought, and it's relatively inexpensive. If this is more than fifty dollars, this is crazy. But I would say it should be like thirty or so, maybe a little less. I don't know, somewhere around there. But you, the point is, don't spend a lot on your first bow case if you're new to archery and you're just shooting locally, because as you'll see in the future, further into this video, um, they can get really expensive really quickly, but there's a purpose behind why they're so expensive. So I'm going to close this up and we're going to move on to our intermediate level case, I would say. Now we are on bow case number two for your intermediate shooter. You've been shooting a while. Maybe you're traveling a little further. Um, maybe you're in college division. Uh, but something along those lines, uh, you probably don't want to take this on a lot of plane flights. Um, there's you know, it's got metal in there for some structure, but it's not really going to stop it getting squished. Sorry, it's a little dusty too. I, I store bows and stuff in, in my extra bow cases just to keep them safe. But, uh, you know, these intermediate level ones are a bit more money. I bet you this is somewhere around $80. Again, another, this is an old, old bow case. Um, they probably don't make this model anymore from Aurora, but, uh, it did its job, it's still doing its job, which is great. I'm gonna open this up for you. See, we're fitting a stabilizer, fitting the stabilizer, arrows, a quiver in this top compartment. Close this back up. Now we're gonna turn it around for you guys. And in the inside, you have pretty much everything you could ever need. Uh, there's a bow stand in there. You got more stabilizers, a riser, limbs, and there's plenty of extra space. I believe this is actually for two bows, which could be good for that archer that's looking to have a second setup. But, uh, you know, it, it's a step towards that professional, that expert level of, of archery. You could technically travel with this. Is it a little risky because of the squish factor? Yes, but you, you could if you wanted to. And that's going to lead us to our last and final bow case. This is the expert level bow case. This is the creme de la creme. Um, this is if you're not super serious because at all these levels you're enjoying archery, so you're serious about it. But this is the, I spent $4,000 between or, or more, you could $10,000 technically if you have two bow setups and two dozen X10s, you could easily spend $10,000 of equipment and I want to protect it 
uh, the next bow case is going to do that for you. And yes, last but not least, this is the full size bow case. This is your expert level case. Um, top shooters in the world are bringing these all across the world. Maybe not necessarily this brand, but this is an SKB case. They're made really well. And I think the company actually insures um, everything inside up to an additional $1,500. So if the airline damages it and it's five grand, but the airline's only paying four, they'll pay up to an additional fifteen hundred for everything inside. It's got lifetime guarantees on the case itself, all the locks. I've replaced the locks twice now because the airlines have damaged them. You know, I don't know what they do to these things. They must like chuck them off uh, <laughs> off the plane or something. But uh, yep, never had my equipment damaged while in this case. And this case has taken some serious beatings. You can see some of the, the marks and stuff, but uh, expensive. I spent all my money from my graduation from high school on this case because after high school, I was going to college division, but where my college was located, if you went to a national college tournament, you had to fly. So I wanted to keep my stuff safe because I had already spent a lot of money on archery at that point. Well, now that I'm out of college and I'm doing the United States archery team circuit to make the U.S. team, um, this case has come in super handy because it sees a lot of airports and it sees a lot of travel. You know, when I make a team and I go to international events, the international team, this case is going to be perfect for going outside the country and keeping my stuff safe. So uh, let's open it up and see what's going on in here. Okay, so in here you're going to have everything. It's, it's kind of unbelievable what they can jam in a, a case this size. Um, oh, for those people that have questions about if this is oversized, double check with your airlines. Uh, most airlines I fly besides, don't, don't fly Spirit, they don't like archers. Uh, shame on them. But uh, I fly United, Southwest, American, uh, can't think of any others, but uh, I think that's all of them. Uh, none of them charge me uh, an additional fee. It's all my first uh, luggage, first piece of luggage, so like that standard $50 or so, or $25. I think it's $25. You don't get any crazy surcharges. So uh, for anybody that had a question on that, that is the answer. Do keep it under 50 pounds though, or whatever the rule is for your given airline. But uh, this case holds two bows. I think it's waterproof up to 30 feet. I, I haven't gone scuba diving with my archery equipment, but I think it's supposed to be waterproof up to 30 feet. Um, I bought this, this same exact case, by the way. This is my only one I've ever owned in 2010 when I graduated high school. It is 2016, in two months it'll be 2017. And this thing has gone through the ringer and has survived. As I said before, I replaced locks. They sent them to me for free. I didn't pay for shipping. I didn't pay for the locks. You buy this as long as you're the original owner. They have you covered over at SKB. Um, I'm sure there's other great brands. It seems like SKB is the most popular. Um, as a side note, I know some people are liking like the Hoyt backpacks. Uh, they're cute. They're nice. But the problem is, I'm not sticking a, my bow and stuff into a backpack and then chipping it on a plane. If you're going to do that, you probably want to stick it in one of these cases first. I don't know. That's my two cents on it. You can do whatever you want because it's your equipment and your money. But uh, hopefully this gave you an idea on what you are, uh, you know, maybe looking to buy or what you may need for your particular, uh, you know, goal in archery at the moment. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope you found it informative and maybe it helps you, you know, decide on what case you need now or maybe something you may want to look into saving up for in the future. Uh, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and as always, happy shooting.